Hello folks, this is Gaurav here and welcome to my channel. Today we will be dealing with the customer segmentation data set and performing k-means clustering to segregate customers based on data in form of clusters. This is used in variety of applications such as market segmentation, document clustering and many more. So without wasting any time, let's get started. We will start off by importing some important libraries which we will need such as importing NumPy, importing Pandas and importing Matplotlib and C1 which will be used for plotting our graphs. Now for this particular video we will be using mall customer segmentation data which is available on Kaggle and I will be giving you the, the link in description. So we will read our data using pd.readcsv and the path of the data in which you have saved. So let's execute this. Now coming towards the data, we have customer ID, we have gender, we have age of that particular customer, the annual income which is in thousand dollars and the spending score which ranges from 1 to 100. So if basically customer is spending less, the spending score will be less and vice versa. Now let's come towards the shape. So we have 200 rows and 5 columns. This is really a small data set is used for demonstration purpose. Now when we execute df.info, we get a brief information about our data that is what is the data type of our, of our columns, what is the memory usage, are there any null values. So you can see each of our column has 200 rows and there are no such null values which exist in our data. Now since we are dealing with clustering, a unsupervised learning approach will be segmenting customers based on spending score and annual income. Hence, we'll be extracting two of these columns and adding them in separate data frame as X. Now, let's start building our model. Firstly, we'll use k-means for deciding the number of clusters and we'll find optimal clusters using elbow method. So, firstly, we'll import uh, k-means from sklearn.cluster and we'll create a blank list called WCSS. So, basically, what is WCSS? So for each value of k, we are calculating WCSS which stands for within cluster sum of square. WCSS is a sum of square distance between each point and the centroid in a cluster. When we plot the WCSS with the k value, the plot looks like an elbow. As the number of cluster increases, the WCSS value will start to decrease. WCSS value is large when k is equal to 1. Now, We'll be using a loop for to find out the optimal value of k using elbow method. Well, this is a static code used for plotting the data points. This code basically iterates the k-min algorithm for our data for i iterations which range from i 1 to 11. Since we assume that maximum clusters possible will not more will be not more than 10. In this code, this k-min dot inertia is a formula used to segregate the data points into clusters. Now once we are done executing the loop, we will be plotting the value of WCSS for each of the cluster from 1 to 11. Now we can see that the plot reduces drastically from cluster 1 to 3, slows down a bit till 5 and flattens from 6 to 10. We can see that we are getting an elbow at 5, which means the optimal number of clusters can be assigned as 5 no matter what the range we select, say if we select the range from 1 to 21, we'll be getting the same behavior. As we got the value of k is equal to 5 from our elbow plot, we'll be inserting that value in number of clusters section and initialize our model and save our model in k means model. And now we'll be using this model to predict the segments of our data x. Now here for unsupervised learning, will be using fit predict wherein for supervised learning we use fit transform. Now once we are done predicting the clusters from our data it's time to effectively plot these clusters. So I'll be using scatter plot from matplotlib to plot our clusters. I'll be assigning the size of each cluster, the color of each cluster and the name. I have given the name as customer 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 for each of the 5 clusters and also the color and the size. I have given the uniform size for each of the cluster. Now here we will be also adding the centroids for each of the clusters form and I will be giving the size as 100. 
now we'll be adding the title the x label y label and legend and when we plot this after plotting this visual we can see that there are five such clusters formed based on the data which represents the customer of five such categories now let's see what we can extract from this plot we can see that the blue cluster represents the customers having comparatively less salary but their spending is quite high on the other side the purple cluster represents customers whose annual salary is quite high but their spending is comparatively less now for any company the people from red cluster are the target audience since maximum people are included in the red cluster also they have decent salary and spending as well so the company will promote their products more with the customers included in the red cluster than the customers included in other clusters well this is the most important intuition which is extracted by a lot of companies to target their customers based on the available data yes the practical data will be a lot complex but the basic principle of clustering remains the same this was all from my side and i hope the video was quite helpful please do like and share if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such amazing content thanks for watching take care and bye bye